Hi, my name is Hans Peter Meyer, and I'm talking to Kathy Jarrett here in just outside of downtown Courtney at uh, the beautiful yard outside of the current manifestation of Tria Culinary. Um, Kathy, you just came back from a trip to Portland. Why did you travel to Portland? What's happening there? Well, we decided we, for, for, there was a few reasons that we chose Oregon specifically. Um, number one, my husband Guy is heavily into home brewing. Um, we grow our own hops and do the whole thing and he, he, he does a lot of brewing at home so it's, you know, it's a bit of a mecca for um, microbreweries and breweries. So that was, that was one of the reasons. Uh, number two, I wanted to go down and check out the food cart scene because I, I am still int very interested in looking at, at um, a mobile food truck or a, a mobile kitchen in, in this community to complement our catering um, division. And Portland was also having their first um, feast. It was called Portland Feast, which is unfortunately why I ended up missing our the first Comox Valley flavors. But we, you know, it's kind of the timing ended up being what it was. Um, and because we wanted to do a lot of riding, and it's it's great riding. So we camped, went all the way down the Oregon coast, and then ended up in Portland for four or five days, and um, just got fat. <laughs> <laughs> So what were some of the highlights of the trip? Like, what did you, um, like, or more to the point, what did you experience that makes you want to do it here? Oh, huh, so many things. Um, they, there was such a phenomenal uh, cocktail scene in Portland, mm -hmm. and uh, it was just, that was amazing. I, I was, you know, Oregon has a real three-prong attack because they have uh, phenomenal breweries, phenomenal wineries, and phenomenal distilleries. So s almost every place that you went, you could have a local beer or a local wine, or you could have some type of gin, rum, uh, whiskey, vodka, whatever, distilled right in, in Portland or in Oregon. So many of their cocktails were um, created using their own, their own mm -hmm. products, which I loved too much. Um, so that was really fabulous. Um, meat. 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 Meat is alive and well. People loved meat. There was a restaurant we went to called Ox, Ox PDX, um, that was an Argentinian grill, mm -hmm. and it was amazing. I still haven't had a chance to post um, the pictures from that dinner up on up on our Facebook page, but it was a great big um, grill, and they did um, all of their own boudin noir, they did their own sausages, their own pâtés, all that, but it was uh, meat meat and it was packed and so many of the restaurants were all about pork belly and slow cooked this and braised that and it was it was fabulous because that's all the stuff that that we love to do and we love to eat and mm -hmm. um so meat <laughs> so we're going to be meat seeing cocktails. we're going to be seeing more meat and cocktails out of uh, trio uh we always do a lot of meat but yeah probably there'll be more meat and if we could do cocktails yeah we started actually we just started designing signature cocktails for mm -hmm. offering the service to design signature cocktails for um brides for bride and groom brides and grooms for weddings so we just as a matter of fact just i just finished building a little package for for a bride where we did um their their signature cocktail for the day mm -hmm. and that was very much inspired by our time in in portland so that was really great so uh what's ha what else is happening around food in portland that makes it a bit of a mecca right now because it, it really is that i think on the west coast isn't it yeah absolutely i mean i th i think the fact that well there's so many farms there's so many producers um it's a you know Portland's a city of six hundred thousand, just shy of six hundred thousand. It really has a really a real small community feel to it. Uh, everybody really gets behind behind what's what's happening. The chefs are very much supportive of the other restaurants and the other chefs. And um, feast was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. So it took place all over Portland um, for multiple days, and then right in the downtown core of of Portland, they had a, a whole bunch of different tents set up and they had seminars and workshops and stuff and we had gone to a few of them and it was all, you know one of them was uh, wine versus beer so it was uh, uh, different Oregon cheeses being paired with wines or beer mm -hmm. and just which you know to, it was basically it was it was one of the beer guys just saying hey <laughs> come on you can you can drink beer with food too <laughs> you know which was it was a lot of fun and um uh, just it's just a real, it's a real sense of community down there, which we were there for five days and I, I couldn't believe how unbelievably, um, like home it felt. I really would like to go back. 
<laughs> so, so how do we do that here? Because I'd love to see, like, a, I mean, I think we've got some great producers mm -hmm. and we've got some great restaurants. We've got some great, you know, what I call food artisans, the chefs, the, the, the we've got, like, you've, you're, you've actually hired one of my favorite bartenders, Tori. You know, he does some amazing stuff. Um, how do we... Because earlier you talked about the, that you think what happened in Portland was like lots of little small things were happening, little hubs, and then it blossomed into something bigger. Mm -hmm. um, how do we? How do you think we create those kind of hubs and support that happening here? Oh, I, I think, I think bit by bit it it is happening. I mean, flavors was flavors at Coastal Black was a, um, I think a really, really really good example of that. We're still really small. I mean, we're still pretty small in comparison. I mean, there are. Oh man, I wish I could remember the stats. Something like two thousand microbreweries in 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 Portland. Mm -hmm. There's not one here, <laughs> so there's that. Um, but I th I think bit by bit we are. I think people need to. I think there needs to be a lot more collaboration between between um, multiple organizations in the community, not just chefs and growers, because we actually have a really strong and 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 thriving collaborative effort between restaurants and producers I think um, I think it needs to become a little bit I think it needs to branch out a little bit you know and uh, actually you know Willie from uh, the cycling coalition I'm drawing mm -hmm. a blank on his last name Ben right. Caminat I think um, really tried to do that really tried to bring that all together so I think you know I think it is happening I think it is happening bit by bit but I think it's it I think you know having dialogues like Mark and Danielle do at at the Union Street. I think having having those dialogues with Megan and 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 you know I'm throwing all these first names out because I know who you, you know who they are. But I think having those dialogues and 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 just getting people excited about more more. There's just so much more. There's just so much to do. <laughs> yeah, you said you have pages and pages of what could happen downtown, and, and downtown is a bit of a. I would think uh, uh, it could be a real f food precinct in our in our area, and and. Uh, um, and there is, we have one lone food truck happening. Um, you, you went down there to talk about food trucks. Is that something yeah. like, are you thinking of doing that? A food truck in this community? I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, I think you could do it. I don't think it would be this. I mean, obviously it wouldn't be the same as what it would be in Portland, you know, operating every day. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there's an opportunity for something like that maybe seasonally, maybe it's once a week, whatever it happens to be. Um, the food truck that I'm thinking of would be for festivals. Yes, I would love to be able to set up, um, you know, downtown for different events and things like that, but also it's a compliment to our catering division. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I mean, I think I, I think as our population grows, I think that's, we, we're a pretty small community still. Mm -hmm. um, but I think as our population grows, and particularly in the summertime when we have, you know, such, such a high um, tourist traffic, I, th I think, you know, I think the opportunity for something like that mm -hmm. is there. I just don't know if it's a, a year-round thing. Uh, Cowichan Valley is already kind of a bit of a, a food or destination for food tourism to some extent. Um, are we there yet? Um, we're getting there. I wouldn't say we're there yet. <laughs> we're getting there. Okay. Um, uh, well, I, I mean, I, I'm wanting to see that happen because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that there actually is a real economy around food, and for lots of reasons. Uh, what is one thing that we could do as a community to, to help make that happen? Um, I think more events like flavors. Yeah. I think, I think, I think what happened there was a, a phenomenal thing. I was really, really loath not to be a part of it. We just happened to be in Portland at that time, mm -hmm. um, but I think more events like that. Um, I think much of what the the farmers market is doing, trying to bring in the chefs' days, um, trying to incorporate you know m multiple events at the farmers market is a great idea. I, I, I think um, I I just think more, 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 and you know the the Foggy Mountain Fall Fair that we did just just the past this past weekend. Yeah. You know it was small. But that, like, what a great, what a great thing that was. That was such an adorably small town thing to do. That was, that would be so much fun if that grew and expanded. And, and um, you know, that was a, that was a super fun event. Yeah. Be nice to be nice to see it bigger. Okay, more fun yeah. food events. More, more of them here in the Comox Valley. Thank you very much, Kathy. Thank you. And thanks for watching.